If you find that when you're recording videos or you're watching back a live stream that you've done, things seem to be out of sync, the audio isn't lining up with your lips moving, we know what that's like, we've been there. It's something that we can fix inside of Ecamm Live. Now I have to say, this is a Mac only bit of software, Sorry for those of you that are on PCs, but if you are on a Mac and you're not familiar with Ecamm Live, then do check out a link below. You can take out a 14 day free trial of it. And if you are familiar with Ecamm Live, you might be aware of the fact that there's a mic delay feature built into it. What the issue is, is your microphone and your camera are both attached separately into your computer and that audio is getting across before the camera signal is getting across. And it's probably only a few frames out, but it's enough to see a delay in it and uh, it's unsettling. So we can fix that. Now, Ecamm Live has a feature in here. When we go into the audio settings, we click down here for the preferences. On the tab, audio, we've got a mic delay and we can put as many frames as we need in this. And till now, what I've been suggesting to people is to record a video hit record down here, speak, be saying this is me with mic delay zero, this is me with mic delay one, this is me with mic delay two, and so on. And then you watch that video back and really by eye you're going, yeah, that feels about right. Well, now there's a new tool that's come along by squares.tv. Uh, Michael, who brought us the shoot app, has now come up with this mic delay calculator and I just wanna show you how to use it to get a more accurate, reading of what that delay is. So first off, we need to turn off this mic delay. So I now can see up here that there's no mic delay on. And I'm just gonna record a quick clip and I'm gonna do a clap in it in this one. So I hit record. I do a nice big clap on there. I hit finish and then recording. And then we come across here to squares.tv delay calculator. We'll put a link it down below. And then you hit launch the delay calculator. Uh, all it wants is your email just to be registered and then it's gonna ask us a few details. And it's asking, who are you? Just a bit of market research for them. Confirm address means I need to go to my emails and just check that I've had an email come through, a double opt-in. Well done, Michael. Here's my email. Is this definitely me? Yes. And I'm in. Where's it gone on the page? I think I need to come back to delay calculator. No, <laughs> I'm going around in circles here. Here it is, delay calculator for Ecamm. So that's a little bit hard to find down there. Under interview, under toolkit, we can click here and come to this. The easiest way to do it, um, Michael's actually done a video on there as well. with a good little tutorial and uh, launch the calculator. So it's asking us to choose a file. Let's get the right one today. Uh, yep. <laughs> In it comes. And so when I hit play on here, so we can see right at the end there is the spike where the clap is and I can just move forwards and backwards on this. And what I'm looking for is where do my hands hit? So that's at zero frames. That's where the sound comes in. But you can see there that my hands aren't together at that point. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. So if I fit forwards, one frame, two frames, that's where my hands are clicking. So it's telling me on here that at 30 frames per second, we need to change this. If you're in the US, 30 frames per second is right. If you're in the UK, we want to come down to 25 frames per second. Still doesn't make any difference. It's still showing us on here. We could potentially, it looks like it's, it, it is actually hitting there, although that's the clean. So I still think two frames is telling me down here, that's what I need to put in. So back over here into Ecamm and uh, we've got this open. Let me just tidy this up. And down here in the mic delay, I just slide this across to say two frames. I can also see up here that I've got a two frame delay added. And now if I hit record, why don't we try it again and pull that back in. So choose file again. That's us right now at 3.39. Open that. I click on it and that's one frame back. So it just didn't like it. But there we go at zero frames is when the clap is and that's when my hands hit.
So it works and uh, <laughs> I can now settle over here knowing that I've accurately worked out two frames is the delay that I need. I already knew that. I had worked that out visually, but I know it's, for some it's not as easy as that to work out. So we've got it set up like that and you can accurately see from a good clap quite how many frames delay you've got. Then head over into Ecamm and put the results in there. While we're here on squares.tv, it would be wrong not to just point out Michael's other app that a lot of us have been using for some time now, Shoot which allows us to use our phones as cameras and uh, just get a clean feed coming through on the camera. There have been some updates recently, so we've put together a new review of this and you can check that video out over here. And I'll see you over there.